So here we are with Honest Thief, Honest Thief's Druid, Bant Druid all-in version, um, with one tiny change. Um, I cut the fourth Oko, because I only run three. How much are Okos? Like, yikes, I, I bought them, I bought them when they were kind of cheap. I actually regret that, regret it to this day, um, in paper, I was working, and I stopped by a game store, and I saw they had Okos, and they were like $25, and I was like, oh, great, I need two of them, so I just bought two, and I left, and I was like, they had like 10, I could have just bought like 10 of them, and like the next day, they were like $70, I just, ah, <laughs> like what, ah. The, the list that I'm actually pretty excited about um, is Druid Karn Oko. Like, I feel like this deck is real. This is more my style. Ebon, not Ebron. <laughs> what? F you can only play that card in Legacy? In EDH. I don't think I want to invest too much in this particular card, Ian. <laughs> Is it really? Sixty-seven ticks on Moto. Cheese. Yeah, it's not worth picking one up. Mm. Okay, so turn one. We do once upon a time. Try to hit. A, try to hit. Druid. We can fetch first, too, to thin the deck a little bit. So turn when we go Temple Garden. Let's just look over the list again. So turn when we go Temple Garden, Shock, Dig for Druid. This is not the list. So it was under Bant, right? I put it under Bant. There we go. Nope. But I named the deck. It's like just happened. Here we go. So I get a Temple Garden. Dig for Druid. I think this hand's fine. You would mulligan this hand? Because this hand can go turn two druid. Like, turn one noble, turn two get druid, turn three druid, turn four vizier, and kind of go from there. I, th I think this hand is fine. Get getting druid is guaranteed off of the call. So even if I can't play druid turn one, I can play it turn three. Nope, uh, I'm guaranteed drew it on three with this hand. That's why I'm keeping it. Yep. There we go.
Wow, that was that was rough, huh? And uh, we win, right? Uh, we're actually short a white source to win next turn, but not a snap keep at all. I didn't love the hand, but I saw the potential in it. We we just bottomed five uh, five land uh, four lands. Looks like a fatal push is coming. <laughs> If I draw land, it was a turn two kill. Yep. All right, we're up against. Uh, of course, I just can't have a. I can't have a league without playing against a bad matchup. <laughs> yeah, you can go. You can go ten and zero in the modern streamers league, but you can't draw land. Oh man, we had it too. We so had it. We didn't actually need to draw the land because we drew the finale. So we had the turn. We had the turn to kill. Because if our opponent didn't push, right? I played Vizier, made infinite mana, played finale, won the game. I don't agree with that for my opponent. I think they should have gotten rid of the finale. The finale is the highest ceiling card in my hand, and it can rebuy anything. So I can like rebuy that druid. Okay. Well, now I wish I didn't bottom like five lands, huh? Um, playing the Vizier instead of holding up the Eldamri's Call, because I want to put a something in play. My opponent is at twelve life. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think the way this game has gone out, I'm going to kill them fair. Uh, sorry, unfair. Yep. Okay, they should take finale here. Again, they're not they're not respecting the finale, I feel. Opponent's name is Mikey Two Rex. Scooze is bad. We we need a uh, lunge now. That is not lunge. Obviously, I should have uh, attacked before I played that. Lunge is no longer a win condition now because of Scooze. I think we're just pretty dead here, but our opponent is at 7. Lunge doesn't win us the game, though. <laughs> Come on, Fox. Why didn't... I don't know why they didn't eat two more cards from my graveyard. Yeah, so this game's over. So we have Chameleon Colossus, we have three Okos, we have a Scavenging Ooze, um, and we have these cards minus the Caterpillar. Is the stream cutting out for you? I'm not even getting an alert that like it's bad for me on my end. Um, so I think Simeon Spirit Guide is an easy cut.
cutting out on you? Should I end it and then restart it, you think? Because my internet's coming up is fine. How about now, guys? It's still cutting out on you? Okay, so I was going to cut these eight and then find two more spots to cut. What the, what should the other two spots be that we cut here? Yeah, dusk watch, maybe. Dusk watch and a lunge. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we can keep turn one giver, turn three Oko against Jund. Check my sideboard guide. You guys are too slow. Come on. All right, goodbye, Oko. Might just play a 1-1 one, one Ballista next turn. Why would they take Ballista? It's gotta be the only thing, right? Or they're just assuming they can beat me in a fair game. Didn't draw veil though. Yeah, it's not enough removal. It's not enough value, though. Uh, Jund can deal with a food token. If they don't have an answer to Oko, I think it was entirely incorrect to make me discard the Ballista. I understand that now they're trying to make me play a fair game, but that's like walking right into what I'm trying to do anyway. I mean, they have a ton of cards in hand, right? And they did nothing last turn. 
They knew that I could cast Oko, and they did nothing. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know. <sighs> Liliana here. Like that'll beat me. I think I get rid of the Vizier so I can cast uh, Finale for two. Uh, let's look at the list again. So Finale for two, I can play Scavenging Ooze. Um, I can get a Druid. I can get a Duskwatch Recruiter. Yeah, I think Finale is way more important. Yep. Yeah, I'm going I'm going ooze. And if they kill the ooze, I can just finale it back next turn. And just in case they have Liliana of the Veil, I get to just I get to sacrifice the food token instead of my scoos. So I th I feel decently far ahead here, even though my opponent has six cards in hand. Bloodbred Elf could be a beater. Okay. Yeah, don't care about Goyf. Goyf is going to be a nice elk in a moment. Okay, so I can actually get... Oh, I don't run Tracker, huh? What three drops can I grab? A Ranger Captain? Yeah, it's not good enough. So I think I just want to elk your goif and start pumping up scoos. I think I can just sit back. I did not see your elk token in the Discord. I'd love to see it, though. No tireless tracker feels a bit, bit weird, um, considering how many fetch lands we run. There's an argument for that, absolutely. But I think immediately shrinking the goyth might be correct. It's tempting, but then any removal spell on the scoos kind of wrecks my day. Um... They can't play Liliana here, so... All they're doing is just growing my scoos. I feel like that was a questionable line. Oh, come on. Okay, um, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. I can get uh, X is four. I can get Shalai. It's probably the best thing I can do, right? I think I elk you so you don't have death touch anymore. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, Colossus might be correct. Yeah, it d turns out it doesn't matter. All right, um, same thing. I think we run the exact same thing back. In fact, I don't even mind doing this. Uh, yeah. That way we can get extra ways to get Colossus. Uh, sure, I actually like this hand a decent amount. I got Veil of Summer, I got Noble High Arc, and I have a way to get my big creature. I also have plenty of mana in a 19 land deck, which can be important. And if my opponent, like, thought seizes me, they're probably going to take the Vizier based on their, their last game's play patterns. They're probably really afraid of the combo. I mean, yeah, I lose hard to run in six, but it's kind of the way it goes. Okay, no run in six. Getting breeding pool off this. <laughs> they have run in six and they still took my noble. Why? Why? Why would you do that? <sighs> oh, opponent. Ah, that's what I was thinking. Um, maybe they're gonna veil if they thought sees me to protect the Shalai. Um. I was thinking scavenging ooze, and next turn I drop a skews and eat something. So yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna veil here to protect Shalai. I think that's the correct call. Like they know we have that. Oh, that's beautiful. So that was my line. It was going to be um, excuse. I am flooding out a little bit here. So I'm going to elk this. The next one I'm going to play Shalai. And Shalai easily blocks Goif. Unless they have a blood braid elf here, I think I'm fine. <laughs> this is a blood braid, all right. Get more green sources to make my skews better.
Now, my opponent's got two cards in hand. I can um, fetch Skews, play Skews, and eat one thing. I can play Shalai, um, and then I'll be hit for five, go down to ten. I think what I want to do is... Oh, sorry, go on the nine. I'll, I think I'm going to play Shalai, and then next turn play Skews and get to eat two things. I think this is the correct line. Opponent's trying to thin their deck. All right, well, Scooze would have died there too, and I think Scooze actually is more important than Shalai. That was a good draw, yeah. The problem is all these horizon canopies are going to eat my life total. Naturally drawing skews is like probably the best thing I can do here. Let's see if they name correctly. They should name human. Okay. Okay, so I can make a 3-3 three, three Ballista, which does nothing. I can 1-2-3, go down to 3, call, play Skoos, go up to 5, eat Shalai, go up to 6, and Oko, make this a 3-4, and I'll have a 3-3 three, three Skoos when they attack. Yeah, I'm just dead. Maybe I can get something here. No, just death. Okay. No, it's over, right? I, I thought we only I thought I missed one, but No, I like the calls. I think they're correct. Uh this hand's bad. You got a turn one noble. I can do a turn two I can do a turn two Shalai. Oh, okay. Uh, I can do a turn two Shalai, that's if this is burn, that would that'd be pretty sweet. Um, another uh, mole. Mole to five here. Keep this. Keep, keep. Bottom. Bottom. No. Bottom, bottom. Now I have two white sources here. Um, so what I'm going to do is once upon a time dig for Druid. Uh, then play Giver of Runes. Turn two, hopefully play Druid. Turn three, have enough mana for E-Call and Vizier. And hopefully draw a win condition. Not ideal. against another uh, red green deck here yeah I really can't beat running six huh this is Valakut yeah okay up against Valakut see what we draw
Debating not shocking. But I do need double green for a lot of different things. I think I'm still just going to shock. Okay. Yeah. A core of seven seven seven. How's it going? Lost a tough one to Jund, and now we're up against Escape Shift. But we have the kill and Giver to protect, and post mortem is extra defense. So it looks like we have the turn three kill here. Easy. <laughs> Mulligan simulator, MTGO. Okay. Oh, hey, Cora. You change your name so often. <laughs> I'm glad you finally have Twitch. Glad to see you on. Uh, I was gonna. I was thinking of playing. I actually played uh, two matches of Amulet, but I wasn't streaming them uh, much earlier. A slightly different list, influenced by Punt's new list. Is the opponent gonna make me play? You just finally stopped renting, so you're buying cards now, or you just stopped playing in general? So I need 30. Okay. Nice little turn three win. Uh, so what do I care about here? I don't think I have a single sideboard card for my opponent, do I? Oh, your username was. I mean, Forge Tender, Caterpillar. These are no, 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 no. Like, these are the only two maybes. I don't know, I think Giver is important. Uh, Giver also protects from um, Anger of the Gods. Which is the only thing Burnt and Forge Tender is going to do, right? They board in Anger, but Giver does just as good a job against, like... Yeah, that's what I was actually looking at. I think we got a little bit of time here, so I think this is what I want. I think that's all I do. And this hand's great. I just... Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's keep... I have to make a decision here. If I'm playing turn one giver or turn one druid. Yeah, that wasn't good. 
I think I go turn one giver here because I have nothing to do with the druid. So normally, um, so Steven, I normally agree. I think I would go druid there. If like I hit a vizier off of that, I'd definitely go druid and then just be like one piece off of like a turn two kill with post-mortem lunge is like a bad, weird fail safe, but yeah. But Simeon Spirit Guide can help me a little bit later. This is a matchup I would bring Magus of the Moon in for. Even though it does die to all of the stuff they are bringing in anyway. Uh, a late game Magus after they've already angered me once can sometimes win the game. Mulling these hands that like don't that just need one more piece. I think that's a that's a sacrifice like we make with like I had druid a giver and a simian spirit guide with a once upon a time. Like you're not mulling that hand. Yeah, OUAT is one piece, so I'm just missing one thing, right? Because you got to count for OU. Like, the fact that OUAT whiffs is, you can't count on that when you're uh, playing through. Okay, so I can, opponent's got anger mana. I can play Giver and Druid right now. I don't think I do, though. I think I save the Spirit Guide for a finale. I think I just play... I think I just play Druid here. But of note, I could have sacrificed him in Spirit Guide for that colorless symbol and floated a white. Yep. Having a second giver out doesn't do much. We have the we have one piece. We just need uh this is where like Ewit is so good. And I feel like these lists can be a little fragile without it. Do they have a bolt? Haha, <laughs> alright. Okay. So we draw a Vizier, we're in good shape. I think I just play Giver, Temple Garden, Pass. I still need one more piece before I can do anything. Yeah. Yeah, they kept a hand because it had two pieces of removal. Well played with the opponent, uh, timing the anger and the bolt correctly. So like little things, like little like tiny little things that I've I've seen people like try to cut corners on. Um, yeah, I gotta hit something soon. <laughs> Timber Shift was a deck I loved. Okay. I feel like that was a little unnecessary.
Green, green, one, two, three. I can't finale uh, for Shalai. I'm one mana short. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. But I can once upon a time and then try to set up the kill for next turn. Opponent's got one card in hand. Uh, so I can, like. Yeah, I can't. <sighs> what I can do is I can lunge. Finale, so I can lunge uh, one, two, pay two life for free, put Druid in play. Uh, druid, Druid, boom, boom. Finale for two, get Vizier. Um, then once upon a time and dig five deep and try to win right now. So, what are the things that win me the game if I dig five deep? Right, this being the list. That's it. Five hits. Uh, can I do OUAT first? So this is my this is my lunge, right? Then OUAT. I guess it's which order. Like, so I just pulled it out, right? I have five enders that just win me the game, and I only have four viziers. So I have a better chance of finding an ender than I do a vizier. So I want to finale for the vizier and not. You see what I'm saying? Like, I have a better chance of winning if I finale for my four of. And then dig with once upon a time for my five of. But if you if you once upon a time first and you whiff on Vizier, what do you do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so if they have a land and escape shift, we're dead. But they only have one card in hand. So I can try to kill them right now. In my graveyard or theirs? They have a bolt and an anger in a wooded foothills in their graveyard. With uh, three ramp spells. Four ramp spells. So this is like, this is the turning point, right? I can... Lunge Druid, Finale for Vizier, and then I dig five for a five of... There'll be 47 cards left in my deck at that point. Um, yeah, I can't do it if I owe you AT first. So I either try to win right now, and if I don't, I just lose. Or I can wait a turn and get one more draw. Yeah, I'm not dead. So I think, I, I think I'm just going to wait one more turn. Mm-hmm. I think what I'm going to do is just pass. Yep, OUET on the end step. But I was just talking through, like, I did I did have a chance to win this turn. Uh, I would just need once upon a time to hit one of those five ending cards. Okay. Opponent's got two cards in hand. Now escape shift is lethal. Lethal. Yeah, I couldn't owe you AT first. Uh, unless they have a bolt, right? And if they have a bolt, I'd have another lunge.
Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> and our opponent's dead. Lunge is very strong, yeah. The clicking soothing? <laughs> All right, let's do this again. This is a snap keep. Let's gonna make sure I play the Temple Garden and not this planes. <laughs> this is what it's all about, right? <laughs> Raging Ravine, all right. Um, knowing my opponent Played a Raging Ravine. Do I turn this into a turn three kill? Like the only Raging Ravine decks are Jund, right? And Jund's not gonna. Yeah, I think I play. I think I play Giver here first. What do you guys think? Yeah. Man, if we had like a, another Simeon Spirit Guide and a Mana Morphos, we could, uh... Okay. Uh, I think the Shalai is better, because this way if my opponent rips my hand apart, I have uh, another Ender in my hand. I think Shalai just got a better... Ceiling. Uh, they want to push Giver. They also have Bolt. They also have Bolt. Okay, so we're looking at Lunge for the win. Okay, so uh, one, two, lunge, yeah. I'm just...
Yeah. Doesn't matter, opponent. They even didn't attack with Tarmogoyf for some reason, but... Got 23 minutes left in the clock, and we just went through the combo. All right, so we bring in Oka, we bring in Chameleon, we bring in Scavenging Ooze. Um, I think the paths are probably correct, right? We bring in Veil of Summers. We cut um, a Lunge. Maybe one more Vizier here. Yeah, I think three Viziers are probably correct. What do you want the Revoker for? I mean, I guess you can, I guess Revoker's fine. I just don't know what I'd, I think I have too much to bring in. I think my game plan is really around, like, post board is really this right here. Oh, it's July mixed in. I don't think Revoker is good in the matchup. I don't think it advances your game plan, and I don't think we're trying to tax our opponent. I think I like this here. Like I have my combo. I have my one drops, I have my combo, I have my interaction, and I have my win conditions. I think I like this. Uh, turn one giver, I can definitely keep. Sand's not great, but it's uh, decent against the Thoughtseize deck. Okay, let's hope we uh, draw into a fetch land. Yep. I don't know if I like Call or Once Upon a Time more, though. I think I'm just going to play my second giver here, because having two givers in play is very strong in this matchup. Yep. I need lands is what I need. I thought about even um, e-calling into like a noble, but yeah, this is rough. Like, what do they take? They have to take, like, Oko or Colossus, right? Just, like, just off of sheer power level. Or take a card we can cast, I guess. MTGO looks a little jumpy right now. I'm kind of interested in just taking a Noble here, um, just to help me cast my cards. So I think I'm going to do that. And uh, opponent conceded. All right. 
I should probably update this. Yeah, Double Giver. Um, double Giver did it. That's how John Matip's supposed to go. It didn't go that way game one. Oh, well, we yeah, two more rounds. Looking at your elk token, Fox Mitten. That's cute. We're in prime position for the 3 2. Let's get a 4 1. Let's get a 4 1. Uh, I think last time I played um, Honest Thief's List, I think I 4 1 with it. Um, yeah, Once Upon a Time gets us our second land. Turn one, Giver. Turn two, Druid. Keep. This is a bad matchup. I mean, we're playing a lot of Thoughtseize decks here. Unfortunately, I have to do this now. Otherwise, we might never cast our spells. Um, I'll take the Razor Verge Thicket. Yeah, this list is much better than the Finks list in the current meta. The Finks list is just something I just, it's near and dear to my heart. I also love Collected Company as a card. Like, I feel like I just, if I have Collected Company in my hand, like, it's like, like, I've never been big in scratch tickets or lotteries or anything like that, but, like, Collected Company, like, I think it gives that same feeling other people get from, like, the lottery. It's just like, I have this potential. Mm-hmm. Yes, this league, 100%. Jund, Jund, Death Shadow. Like, oh, yeah. We, we, we faced a rough league there, and we mold pretty, pretty hard um, in that league. So I'm going to, I'm going to open off with uh, the giver. It's Steve16. Welcome aboard the Doom Train. Glad to have you. Our next stop is evil. I think this hand's fine. I'd love to see a Shalai in this matchup. I might honestly just play a second Giver instead of the Druid. It is weak for Stub, yep. I mean, isn't everything weak against Stubborn Denial? Like, that's just something... Uh, this is Sultai Shadow, uh, not Grix's Shadow, which might be better for us. Grix's Green. That's way better than us, because they don't run Team or Battle Rage, so their clock is slower. So it's more like we're basically just playing Jund, effectively again, right? Jund without Anger. I play the giver here, right? Like, we can win the following turn if I play the druid. Okay, good to know, Steve. Um, I think I just play the giver and the windswept teeth and pass. Like, double giver is just, like, really, really good. Giver Druid gives us better draws, but I'm assuming that with four cards in their hand that they have... But Double Giver just, like, wins any game, if even through interaction. I think it's... It, it feels a little wrong to do this, but especially since we don't have the next piece anyway. And again, if we if we go and look at it, so another piece we need... Like, we just have Druid in one free draw, right? So we need two pieces. So to get two pieces, we need...
like we have 21 cards that can get us two pieces, but first we have to get the Vizier. Like it just, it's a 40% chance we need two pieces and we have two two hits. I, I just don't like the odds. Shalai will be great here. Yep. Still need more mana though. Okay, um, let's play the druid, and pass. Well, nothing else to do here. So we got one piece, we just need one more. Uh, Steve, you are, uh, Correct, it's Steve16. There is the Blood Crypt. Our hand's pretty redundant to a discard spell. Unless they do, in fact, have that stubs. I agree. I still have to walk into it anyway, though. Even if I know they have it. Okay. Yeah, the Kitchen Finks League, the Kitchen Finks uh, League would be much better if we faced these opponents. Uh, I think I'm forced to do this now. If they have push, I'm dead anyway. So, but I can't afford to just die to a Street Wraith in my opponent's hand. Yeah, now we need Shalai. Honestly, uh, Walking Ballista would have been a pretty good draw there. A 2-2 two -two Walking Ballista would be pretty good right now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we win if we get a Walking Ballista. If we live that long. They have two cards in hand. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is double block. And then protect the giver. And if they have the removal spell, they have. Like, I, I can't play around stuff at this point. I'm in too bad of a spot. Like, I have to double block because any life a dismember, a, a street wraith just straight up kills me.
With double giver, at least, I can block these two every single turn. Okay. Not drawn particularly well. Is their opponent's not drawn particularly well either. Um, so we don't. Do we just win? Uh, opponent's at four. Uh, I can post mortem lunge the vizier and swing for four. But then if they have any removal spell, I'm just dead. I, I don't. I don't like it. They've got two cards in hand. If they had a removal spell, though, I'd already be dead, right? Yeah. Gonna thin my deck a little with that windswept teeth. This might just seal it, especially since we have access to six mana here, too. Okay. They have TBR, they win. Street Wraith, okay. Don't even need to uh, pump Shalai to win now. Opponent needs TBR. Uh, Terminate, Dreadbore, Trophy. Actually, those don't do anything. Never mind. They need TBR. Sure. Alright, looks like we win. What? You're right. You're right, I got tired there. Went in autopilot. Yeah, I should have just let the druid die. <sighs> They're still dead, though. It doesn't matter, they're dead. They're at two. Once they once they did the street raid, that didn't matter anymore. Yeah. 
Okay, so Chameleon Colossus, Oko, oop, not, not Revoker, uh, Scooze, Path, Path, Veil of Summers, and we cut Simeon Spirit Guides, uh, Postmortem Lunge, probably some finales, maybe even all of them, right? Viziers. I don't I keep changing it up. I'm trying to find like the perfect balance here. I think I like this. We have... Oh. We have wind conditions here. We have redundancy... Here. We have combo pieces here. And we have more interaction here. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I'm more comfortable with those game ones than the combo ones. The combo ones feel a little cheap. I think this is better. Uh, once upon a time, I'll find my second land. The sand is fine. One of your favorite parts of Magic is sideboarding, so you see no problem with getting to do that faster. What do you mean getting to do um, sideboarding faster? Like you mean getting the hang of matchups? I, I love siding out combo pieces. Opponent got a polluted delta. Checking the top of their own deck before deciding whether or not to fetch something away. They don't like what they see, so they fetch that away. And... Play more bobbles, all right. This one's targeting me, so we're probably gonna get Thought Seize here. No? Okay. I don't have to cast Once Upon a Time yet. I can, I'm not going to. And I could cast it for a noble or for a giver and try to cast that right now. But I think I'm just going to pass here um, and wait. What I really want off this once upon a time is a land. I want my third land to be able to cast Oko. And if I can hold this up at a weird moment for my opponent to tap out and make my opponent use a stubborn denial on this once upon a time... Like, I want them to stub it right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind slow playing that a little bit. I wanted, I wanted land. Like, I didn't... Giver's really good, as we saw last game. But with the way my hand is looking right now, I already have my win conditions, like, in my hand. Like, these are the cards that I put aside when I was sideboarding and said, this is how we win the game. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I wanted them to stub it, to be honest. I, stub it or get a land off of it. Like, that's really all I wanted. Because now I want them to... Like, now they, they're they going to look at my hand. All right, this card beats them. This card beats them. This card is really good against them. And this card can crush them. This is the only card they're not really going to care about. 
Like this hand is just gas against them. Like I don't mind my opponent's not presenting a threat. I don't mind slow playing a little bit, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I think they have to take Oko. Just because it's a threat I can play right now. And it looks like they want to try to play a Shadow soon. It's fine. My other option was um, just play the tap land. And then once upon a time, and my opponent's end step to dig for that fourth land. But... They're not presenting me with a clock yet, so... Oh, UAT might be better there, but I'm just trying to... Like, that push now is not going to hit Shalai or Ballista. My opponent's only got two cards in hand. Like, they're running out of resources digging to try to find a threat. So I have time here. This is, um... I'm not playing my list optimally for how I want to present myself I'm playing my list in a, a way because of what I'm seeing on the other side of the table so yeah finding that fourth land was the optimal line but the uh, right what I'm looking at right now is my opponent's doing nothing so even even just putting a 2-2 two -two in play could do something here more than normal So I can finale for one, which gets me a giver. That's not a terrible line. I could just once upon a time find another land. I think I like that more. If they dispel the Coloss if they thought seize my Colossus, they would have done it already if they could have, right? So that means they have to top deck the thought seize. Um, if they top deck the thought seize, I still have the Shalai. Now I have a finale, which can, if I get enough lands, can buy that back. Like I have, or I can just walking ballista. Like I have so many different threats in my hand that, like they have to draw the thought seize. The Inquisition is not good enough. Now we're on a clock, yeah. But next turn when I drop Chameleon Colossus, unless my opponent has another one of those um, Drown in the Locks, I think we're fine. True, true. Yep, it was probably correct. You're right. Put Chameleon in this turn and Shalaya in next turn. Yep. I might even, honestly, if my opponent doesn't make this shadow too much bigger, I might even lead with the Shalai instead, just to try to eat a Drown in the Lock, which I feel like they might have. Opponent choosing not to shock themselves again. Alright, Plague Engineer is interesting here. That means they can't have Drown in the Lock. So they have one card left in their hand. Construct. So they're up against Walking Ballista, and unfortunately that also shrinks uh, my Colossus. Okay. Yeah, it's my first time playing against uh, Sultai Shadow. Yep. 
Yeah, Oko could be rough. But I can't play around it. I mean, what can I... What can I do? Uh, why didn't my opponent... They can't block. Hmm. Okay, so I can hit them for six. We, we don't win if we pump. Um, I can put them at five. And then I can play a 2-2 two -two Ballista and play Giver. I think I just want to play Giver and Shalai here. Yeah. And I think we have this uh, locked up. They would need an Oko. But Oko can only hit Shalai. So they need Fetch, Push, Oko. And then they can win. Yeah, I agree. I think they're sitting on stubs. Okay, so that's Fetch, Push. They have one card left. They need Oko. Okay, they have two cards. TBR might, uh, three, no, TBR doesn't even do it. Could be Street Wraith. Uh, they they've been a little cautious with their life total. I don't know if you noticed, but they were refusing to fetch for a little bit there. They didn't even fetch before when they were attacking with a 5-5. Five five. So if I pump, I can hit them for 6. That doesn't kill them. But then I'm dead. I can play a 2-2 two -two Ballista. Doesn't kill them. We can't win. Yeah. Uh, Eldamri's Call can grab... Scoos. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Gabby Ballista is the only uh Remember it's really just gonna be a one one ballista because of this plague engineer. Um if they do have stubs, these things are bad. We can dodge Oko now because of the giver. Yeah, Construct was a really good name, especially since name well naming anything hits the Colossus, but Plague Engineer is the only thing that's kept uh, our opponent alive at this point. So next turn we're representing lethal for next turn. My opponent's got no cards in hand. So I uh, Colossus is fine. So I'm actually going to give Ballista protection from black. They should have drained. Oh, they did drain. Okay. 
That was the other mode where they discard discarded Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize was the card they were holding on to. Interesting they didn't Thoughtseize when they knew we had Finale. So I pump six, seven. Opponent's not dead. Six. I think I just finale back Shalai here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have any lands left though. Yeah, I have none, no lands left, so I can't. I can call for Scoos. I like that one. <laughs> Punter in the chat. Oopsie. Hey, Cora, welcome back. Oh, I don't want Scoos or Ranger Captain. I'll take the two for one with the bigger body. Druid would have been good, yeah. Uh, actually. Just to have extra mana for Ballista. True, true. Yep, Druid was the right call. Opponent's basically conceding in the chat, saying I probably can't lose this game anyway. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Druid plan. Um, <laughs> Druid also wins with Chameleon Colossus. It doesn't even need Ballista. What do we do here? Um, so I'm dead to TBR if I don't block. I think I have to block. I think I have to jump here. What if I jump both of these here? What do you guys think of that? Then if they Street Wraith, they're at 7. Yeah. No street race. Okay, I'm fine with that. So it's actually good we didn't get Druid there, because if we got Druid there, um, would have been a little bit different here. One, two, three, four, five. So I can finale for three. 
think I finale for Skews and play Giver. Yeah, I think I finale for Skews and play Giver. I think it's the line. Ooh, I can finally for Duskwatch Recruiter. I actually like that more. If I have to chump with him, I have to chump with him. Um... I'm not, I don't have any, if I had green mana to hold up, I think Skuz is better. But I don't have an excess mana right now. And I think Duskwatch just has a higher, slightly higher ceiling at the moment. Digging for stuff. Opponent's only got six minutes left to clock. They're trying to navigate pretty tough. That's what they wrote in the chat. I'm getting tired and hungry. Yeah, we're in game two. <sighs> Get Duskwatch flips. Uh, I think I just let him flip here. Because I have the once upon a time anyway. Uh, so I pump... Goes to six. Give protection. That's lethal. My opponent has one card in hand. Um, you're right. That'd be four. No, it's not lethal. That's only eight. You have to attack with the Duskwatch too, which I'm saying is they have one card in hand, so any removal spell on Howler and they can win this. Like a Fatal Push, a Lightning Bolt, a Drown in the Lock, uh, dismem uh, Dismember, any removal spell on... I can give her pre-combat, yep, and they have to do it then. Opponent wrote, that's actually perfect. I don't know what that means. They said noble hierarch is perfect. I have my two green sources here. Yeah, don't, all Noble does is gives me an extra blocker in case they push right here. I then have two blockers still. Okay, so they had they had the removal spell. I have drowned, so I can't beat Noble. Noble puts them at one. Uh, I think what I want to do is once upon a time here and hope to hit one more creature. I think I owe you AT for another blocker. We 
Yeah. Even if they TBR, their dude's not very big. If they draw exactly TBR, they're coming at me for 8, I block 3, right? That's only 5. Because they only have one card in hand. TBR doesn't kill me because of Chameleon Colossus. And then I can block the Plague with the Noble. I don't have any more lands. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now they're dead. Uh, four, double pump. Yeah, they're just dead now. Beautiful. Bam. So that line will be missed uh, earlier with the Druid line. Actually, that wouldn't have won us the game because we would have had to block with the Druid. Three and one. Let's uh, go on to the next round. I'm going to fill my cup. That was a real good matchup. Yeah, it's it's late for me too, and it's, I'm not. I don't live in London. Do you live in London or like outside of it? <laughs> Up against Plampkin. Yes, I will be on the play. Um, no Druid. Turn one Giver. Turn to Dusk Watch. Yeah, this hand's a mull. Uh, yeah, this is a mull. Wonder why they don't run Snap. Snap just seems so good in that style deck. Oh, this hand's much better. Okay. Keep. Uh, what do I bottom? I think I have to bottom the Noble here or the Lunge. I need two lands. Yeah. Play the thicket. Kind of go from there. It was it was between those two choices. I still think uh, breeding pool tapped. What does that tell us? Honestly, that could even be Amulet Titan for uh, for all we know at this point. And we were wrong. The correct answer is Bottom Horizon Canopy. Hey, Funky. How's it going? I hope it's not Urza. I just don't like Urza. It's Urza. I mean, you're dead even if you have a fatal push or something. Okay. 
Don't know what our opponent's on, but they're dead. If Fox Mitten, I'm doing this just for you. <laughs> hey, Yumchuk. How's it going? Uh, everybody, Yumchuk. Yumchuk? Hey, I'm butchering your name here. Is our opponent from last round? Thing is, even if they had um, like a force negation there, we still had the Dusk Watch recruiter, so we were fine. Yeah, engineering name construct was an absolutely brilliant play. Okay, breeding pool, snow covered forest, Mishra's bobble. I'm gonna assume this is Urza. They didn't cast a single spell in the bobble the entire game. Um, maybe I want Oko, maybe I want Phyrexian Revoker, um, maybe I want these, like these are all cards I might be interested in. Yeah, Veil, Veil seems like in, no matter what we're playing against, it's blue, right? Uh, who's heading out? Hey, Funky. Yeah, long time no see. I don't know. Like, I feel like just comboing quickly is my answer to beating Urza here. And we're not even fully sure it is Urza. Like, it could be... I don't even know. It could be Shadow. It could be Urza. But either way, Simeon Spirit Guide could get cut. Um, you can trim a couple of Viziers. Yeah, Paths. I was just thinking these are things that could come in, not necessarily that are coming in. I don't even know if Oko is that good against Urza. But I think I like their... I think I might like something like that. What about that? That's 60. They're probably going to have Graph Digger's Cage. Um, so I either want more Okos or Caterpillars. I need Oko to fight there, Oko. That's true. Uh, so let's cut a Lunge and a couple Finales then. And we'll wind up with something like that. Yeah. No scoos. We don't know what type of uh, Urza they're on yet. So if, if they end up being on Thopter Sword, we can definitely bring scoos in to the table. We are playing Modern, yeah. If it's not Oko, then who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I think I only trimmed one one lunge. I kind of want to, like, I wouldn't mind, like, just playing an all-in, like, just try to Simeon Spirit Guide, turn to Druid, and make them, make them have that uh, Pithing Needle. Uh, we would have had a turn two against Jund if it wasn't Jund. Yeah, we'll keep this. Yeah, sounds really good. Uh, turn one giver. Even if we don't have the once upon a time, this hand's really good. Hmm. I think I want the caustic caterpillar. And then I'll play Giver into Druid. Yeah. I 
get to try out your uh, caterpillar fox mitten. It's been a long stream, huh? <laughs> I think we get the caterpillar. There you go. You have it. You just got to clip that. I think we get the caterpillar. So they get a free opal off of Emery. Yikes. Goodbye, internet. You found the clip? Oh, the best version of Druid. I, I still think, um... Getting an Astrolabe. Okay, that's... They want the card draw more than they want the uh, extra mana off of Opal. That's interesting to me. I think they know they're dead if they, uh... Don't. Hmm. I don't think this is the best version of Druid. I actually think the Karn variant is still stronger. This variant is just the best in an open meta. If they have Force of Negation here, we could be in a little bit of trouble. The Karn version's fire. Actually, even if they had Force Negation, we had the Veil of Summer, so we were fine. And there we go. Right after a long, grueling match, we get to finish out 4-1. Uh, after a rough start to the league... Um, Get some free play points here. <laughs> You're welcome, Foxman. I, I did that just for you. The clicks are soothing? Do you guys actually think, like, I, I, I try to click as quickly as possible. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, it's, it's, like, refreshing having a, uh, like, a small, like, night stream as opposed to like the modern streamers league is great uh but it's so stressful <laughs> like it's so stressful it's not like i i can't just like i don't know complain about health insurance for 10 minutes <laughs> yeah we're actually yeah uh, we were gonna launch we wanted to do a november we had to push it back till December, uh, so look, we're looking at like uh, early January for the Pioneer Streamers League. Uh, we have Card Hoarder, MTGO, right now as um, sponsors. I have to double check the verbiage of what MTGO wants to be called. I don't know if it's sponsors or something else, but yep, it'll be Pioneer. Uh, I will not be playing in it, actually. Uh, it's going to be a very different structure. So we're going to be doing, instead of what we did before, which is a 10-week 10 10 week league, um, where we show every single match that gets played out. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do more of like a regular, like a Star City Games style tournament. Um, it's going to be four matches on a Monday, and then four matches on a Wednesday, and then the top eight, like on the Friday. I actually think we're going to do top six. We're going to have 20 streamers um, and just kind of go from there. So I was not going to be involved in it because it's kind of awkward to be a player and a producer, uh, which was never my intention for the Modern Streamers League. I wasn't supposed to be a producer for that. That was just something that happened to happen. Any chance we came in an hour earlier? Uh, possibly. It should actually be shorter. And, uh, Fox Mitten, you might like this piece. Um, so... Remember I said we weren't going to air every single match because we're going to be we're going to be playing four rounds in one night. We're only going to air like one, maybe one and a half or two like a uh, match per round. 
the other unaired matches will get uh, posted on YouTube. Um, some of them will have commentary, like I'll sit down for some of them and uh, like be like, hey, check this out, Like we didn't air this live, but here you go, here's a match, um, and kind of go from there. So you get to, you get a ton of YouTube content, uh, which I'm, I'm a huge fan of. I, I almost, in some ways I prefer YouTube because you can just like pick up video, you can be like, oh, someone walked away, just fast forward 10 minutes, there's a match you don't care about. Like, oh, there's Neoform, skip, you know, the five minutes it'll take. Yeah, those streams were, they were grueling for me too. And um, so I, I definitely like the shorter, then this is going to be three nights. The whole show will be three nights, which I'm super excited about. So it really just eats a week of my life instead of 10 weeks. And now I want to get back to modern content. Um, have another longer tournament for modern soon. Yes, a three night contest, a three night thing will absolutely be great. Druid or Maverick for Korra? I've never, so so Korra, I've uh, never played Legacy. If you, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we 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 did play terrible matchups and went four one. That was fun. Uh, lots of thoughts these decks there. Um, yeah, Cora, message me. We'll figure it out if I get access to the cards somehow. Um, we'll figure out league entry. I I don't nothing about legacy. So the only legacy deck I was actually super interested in when I was. Uh, this is like a year or two ago, uh, was that blue-black shadow deck. Um, this is the Mothman, for those who missed them. Uh, but it was blue-black shadow. And I remember like being like, wait, I have almost all of those cards. Like, I have Death Shadow... Delver, Gurmag, Street Wraith, Brainstorm's easy to get. Like, I have a decent amount of these cards, the Thought Seizes, like, most of these lands. I don't have the one Underground Sea or the four Wastelands, but I have, like, the rest of this deck. So this is a, that was a list, and it, it looked like it was a, like a play style that I'm familiar with. Maybe. I know, um... Uh, Matt, Matt Hurley from the, uh, Hurlman, uh, from the, uh, Tryhards, he, um, he plays a bunch of Legacy, he's been trying to get me into Legacy for a long time now, so he might even be all in, uh, loaning me a deck, I know he was playing a deck, I don't remember what it did, I don't know Legacy, um, the entire thing was like, when this card dies, when this creature dies, you get to tutor up a Planeswalker and put it in play for free, that was like, what the card, was, the deck was built around, that, that seemed pretty sweet. Yeah, Pioneer, I keep trying to get into it. I keep absolutely trying to get into Pioneer. Like, I, I keep brewing different decks in Pioneer. Um, it's just... I feel like the power level just isn't there to really excite me. Like, the the deck I had the most fun with um, playing... I, I got rid of them all. was the, uh, the Field, uh, Field of the Dead variants that I built which were Sultai, right before the green-black field of the dead variants really kind of took off as the best version. I was playing a green-black with a tiny splash for blue, and the tiny splash for blue was for Oko and um, Unmoored Ego. And Unmoored Ego was in the sideboard, which was really good against other field decks because you could just say Unmoored Ego, like turn two, Unmoored Ego, naming field, and I win. Um... But I'm also, I had a little bit of fun with the uh, Is It Phoenix deck. Like, it was fun trying to figure that out and play that. But uh, also, I brewed the Sultai food deck. I don't know if you guys, I think I, I think I posted the league on YouTube. I think I did. Uh, the deck, uh, the deck was built around this shell originally, which had Karn with Great Henge in the sideboard. 
Um, and then I ran Rotting Regisaur as a quick way. So I could do like turn one Goose, turn two Rotting Regisaur. I could like play a Karn, I think a Great Henge, and then play the Great Henge. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like miracles. I actually don't like that mechanic. But I, I could probably get around with playing depths. <laughs> Terminus is just rude. Oh man, this is back when I played standard. You're welcome, Fox Mitten. Have a good night, and thanks for hanging out. And Choke is a great card. Yeah. This league was fun. 4-1 uh, with some bad matchups. We 2 3 with the Kitchen Finks bro. Uh, we should have gone to game three, that the deciding match, but I think I, I punted something there. Punted something terrible. Uh... Karita probably. I probably would. Yeah, it depends what the list is. If I have it. If it's modern. Uh, or Pioneer, I guess. Uh, less inclined to do Pioneer because I keep... Like, I, I was going infinite with modern and then Pioneer came out. And then I lost like all my almost all my play points on Pioneer. Just 2 3 a bunch. I did follow it up with a wine. I'm pretty sure I complained a little bit about it. Uh, so, Carita, what is the, uh, what's the list? Coretta? Coretta. You gotta tell me how to pronounce that. Also, check out the Discord. Um, I've, I put my sideboard guide up there. I know it's a little antiquated in terms of some of the technology, but the concept is the biggest thing, I think, with sideboarding. Coco Druid Stoneforge. Sure, I can do that. Is it Bant, Abzan, or Green White? Or Naya? I guess it could be Naya. And I won't be I won't be doing it tonight. It's uh I won't be like if you sub, I'll do it the next time I uh Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming again soon. Uh, do you have Discord? You can message me there. And Saint Doom, capital S, capital D, number 5635. Uh, you can also join the Discord. This goes for anyone who wants a specific thing for me to play. I'm generally pretty good about it. That's the Discord. I'll need another Ranger Captain. Yeah, I can play this. Uh, just so you know, um, yeah, that's good, Cora. Um, you can PM me. I actually have a decent amount of Stoneforge Druid content um, out there already that I'd encourage you to check out. Let me um, pull that up. On my YouTube...
Good morning. Whoops. Oh, you watched them already? Okay. Um, yeah, so I already have a bunch there. That's the starting point, I think. So if we just look at starting point for me, at least. I was pretty happy with this list. Uh, I think Knight of Autumn would now move to the side. Uh, Urza's died down a little bit, but I, I think when, when you're playing around a card like Collected Company, a uh, big thing to consider is you want as many three drops and two for ones as possible. Uh, when I was playing this list, Jund and Run and Six were a lot more popular, so I was trying to play around that a little bit. But, but that's that. You guys uh, message me on Discord. You can also message me on Reddit, although Discord I'm usually a bit quicker on. But I'm actually going to sign off for the night. Thank you very much for hanging out. I'll be posting these videos on YouTube shortly, probably at some point mid-tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. I will see you later.